I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racist, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification, one day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. When I think of Dr. Martin Luther King, I think of freedom, the freedom to be who you are. I think that um, Dr. King's message for equality and his quest for it is definitely something that's relevant today, especially with all the things that have been going on with um, the police drama and shootings. I think that making sure that we're dedicated to ensuring the safety of everyone and making sure that all the resources for the people are for everyone and that they're equally trying to protect them is something that's really important. So what Martin Luther King means to me is he was somebody brave enough to put basically put everything on the line, including his life. So he was able to fight for our rights so that now I can go to school with white people and Hispanic people and not only have to, you know, drink out of my own water fountain. He was basically doing what he thought or what actually is right for for my people, well for all people really, to bring everybody together. What Dr. Martin Luther King's message meant most to me, I think, is uh, the fact that he fought for equality in all people. I think that what everyone looks at is how he fought for equality of the races, and I think that that's um, significantly important, but he was shifting his message to focus on equality for all people, um, specifically equality of social class. When he was assassinated in Memphis, he was leading a pan-racial uh, sanitation worker movement, and I think that that's something that's overlooked a lot. I think that he was kind of, he was a visionary, and he was shifting this whole civil rights movement. He was using that momentum that he already had, and he was trying to uh, change and have a civil rights movement for class in America, which we haven't had. And I think the fact that he just fought for equality in all people, like he didn't just stop when he, um, when the Civil Rights Acts were passed. He didn't just stop when he thought, you know, I guess that um, people are equal enough. Like he was never going to stop fighting. He was always uh, one step ahead and um, throughout all of the um, attacks and uh, things that he had to, um, like things that he had to live through, he maintained his peaceful protesting. This will be the day, this will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning, my country tears of thee. Sweet land of liberty of thee I sing, land where my fathers